the most important part of the commitment that the church can offer to you as did your parents ralph and irma before you it now falls on the family that you form today to build a new jerusalem not in historic palestine but here in our new world as the gospel teaches each of us should be dedicated to building the kingdom of god here and if you do this work and you are the true child of the true Israel. Watch out for is having you for a brother-in-law. Yeah, well, you could do a lot worse. You get some of that mop cut off your head, I'll make a soldier out of you. Oh, man, if I wanted to be a soldier, I'd have joined the army. I didn't know we would have taken it. a war on it. We're taking any. Not in the Green Beret, we weren't. <laughs> hey, sister, uh, how about a dance, huh? Sister-in-law, in that case. Yeah, we're legal now. <laughs> I know I'm not family yet, but would you please? Why not? Then I can tell you why it's important to seize the day. I want to see my Gwen at her wedding. It's a very happy day for me, sweetheart. Bet you thought it'd never happen, huh? <laughs> <laughs> not at all. But I have to admit, you never were very excited about the courting game. <laughs> no, I wasn't, because I was the married kind. Guess I always was. I was waiting around for the right man so I could raise my own family. Oh, now I just want to be at peace with the world and with God. May he grant you that. Mm. I love you. I love you too. Mm.
from my favorite bakery. Oh, that's so Hope sweet. Hope you all like Thank it, you. sure. Sure, I'll take that. And <laughs> you guys make yourselves at home. Hey, Sarah, look what we got, honey, from our new neighbor, Elizabeth. What do we say? Thank you, and God bless you. Oh, good girl. <laughs> Randy, Sandy and Elizabeth, please okay. make sure. Sure. Randy, why don't you lay Sarah down for her nap, and uh, I'll get everybody settled here. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> you in the army, Sandy? Yeah, I was a regular John Wayne. <laughs> oh, come on, Sarah, let's get a little toy for you to take to bed with you. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a nigger by his toe. Oh, how about this one, huh? Uh, oh, my, come on. My, 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 what a lovely home. You like this one. I'll just put her to bed. I'll be right back. Okay. And what interesting art. Huh. Oh, oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's just delicious. I can't eat no more. Oh, no. uh -huh. <laughs> that was good. Hey, Vicky, Vicki, what did you do? Well, three weeks, or so the doctors say. But it'll be in God's good time, right? What do you reckon, a boy or girl? Oh, it'll be a boy. <laughs> you seem real sure. Well, God assured me it'll be a boy. Yeah, Vicky, she has a, a real sick sense about these things. So if she says it'll be a boy, you trust her, yeah. it will be. Mm-hmm. And his name is Samuel, like the prophet and the last Israelite judge before the loss of the Ark of the Covenant. Samuel was the one that tried to bring the Israelites back to the true faith. And he anointed Saul as the first king of Israel. Oh, do tell. Mm -hmm. I knew that. Oh. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> Sandy. Do you want to hand me your plate? Oh, tell sure. me, Elizabeth, uh, what church do you all attend? Uh, actually, we've been drifting these last few years. We uh, aren't actually affiliated anywhere at the moment. But we are God-fearing folk. That's true. <laughs> well, I'm sure you are. Well, Randy and I go over the First Baptist on Sundays. We'd be happy if you join us. Yeah, yeah, join us some Sunday. Well, we might Great. just do that. Great. Great. So let's have this wonderful cake you brought us. You have a good night now. What'd you think? Too much religiosity, if you ask me. It's easy enough to understand a young couple trying to raise a family in tough times and rough world. Little faith keeps them afloat. I'll loosen her up and just watch. You'll wind up a nun yourself. Oh, Sandy. Come on oh, inside. Praise the Lord. You so silly. What did you say to her when you were having it? Samuel's time. on the left, toys on the right when the pacifier just below that. You want to get out? Keep right here. What's your name? Oh, you're not the beast, okay? The mark of the beast. What is everything? You go into a store to buy something, and you're not going to need money anymore. You're just going to need a mark. You know, it's going to be right here on your forehead. We're all looking at each other. We're 666 six, six on our forehead. I mean, yeah, this government is rotten, okay? And when it collapses, if there's paper money, it's not going to be worth nothing. So you really think the end is nigh? Yeah. 
Oh. Yeah, we think that. No, that, that's what people always say, but everything seems to always work out. I mean, doesn't it? No. <laughs> well, it depends. You My know. God, what about <laughs> Nazi Germany? Well, I don't see Jimmy Carter as a Nazi, he says. I mean, oh, do you guys think he's evil, too? Well, uh, he's not doing anything to stop the moral rot, is he? I mean, there's sex shops everywhere and violence. Vicky, do you hear yourself? I mean, this is a big country. It takes a lot to get everybody to pull in the same direction. I mean, it always has. But you have to understand something, all right? The world has gotten crazy. Things are very different these days, and I think it's coming to the end time, sis. All right. Well, then maybe they have to get worse before they can get better. Well, you can say that because you don't have kids, because if you did, you'd think differently. Well, I don't yeah. know. I mean, the way Lauren and I see it, change is good. You know, you just roll with the punches. Uh, you know what you should do? You should read Hal Lindsey. Yeah, that guy, he knows what he's talking about. I've never heard of it. Oh, this is a book, here. great book. Oh, Dad, you would like this. Dad would like this <clears> The <throat> late, great planet Earth. Hmm. Oh, I have heard of that. Oh, this girl in the office, she saw the movie. She said it was really weird. <laughs> really weird? Yeah. Well, she doesn't know what she's talking about. How Lindsay happens to be the most important prophet of our age. How we may be living in the last days of Earth. Good Lord, help us. This sounds like more doom and gloom from your dad's church. Irma, Mr. Lindsay is a Baptist, okay? Mormons aren't the only ones who can see the writing on the wall. That's right. Vicki, I, I never heard you talk like this before. Where are you getting all these ideas from? I have been talking this way. Read your Bible, Mom. It's all in there. Wars, earthquakes, a one-world economy. Don't you ever think to look around and see what's happening to your country? Vicky, hey, it's okay. It's just us. Plenty of time to get to the market for the Bible study group tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> didn't I get enough? Well, you got plenty, but you didn't check the cold cut label. What? There was pork, pork. in the Elizabeth. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, what do we know? Pork, pork has trichinomas. You, you gotta, gotta keep it clean. It's, it's the, the King, King James, James version. version. You, know you know what I mean. Rely, rely on the word. <laughs> Good. I'm so sorry. Just read Deuteronomy. You gotta be diligent. Oh, oh Sammy. Oh, oh, no, that is so nice. Honey. Show Elizabeth how pretty you did, you honey. You are so clever, just like your mama. Now, what's that a picture of? Jesus. Uh-huh. Thomas. Mm-hmm. Peter. Ah, Mrs. Weaver. How you doing? Nice Randy? to see you, Pastor. Wouldn't feel like Sunday if I didn't see you and your family in a congregation. <laughs> it's impressive, especially given how far you've come to join us. I hope you found the service worthwhile, Mrs. Weaver. Oh, yes, we always do. Thank you. I do have a question, if I may, though. No, by all means, Mrs. Weaver. Well, you know, um, I picked this up before services. It seems it's an invitation to the church Halloween party. Mm -hmm. Isn't Halloween a relic of heathen myth, Pastor? Oh, surely it's nothing more than a harmless diversion for our children, Mrs. Weaver. No, but that's the question. Is it harmless? You know, Weaver and I sometimes worry we all get a little too interested in the word of man instead of the word of our Lord. Well, isn't dressing up like devils and ghosts a transgression against Deuteronomy 18, verse 11? Necromancy is an abomination unto the Lord? Well, perhaps in a narrow interpretation, that seems like a small accommodation to the reality of daily life in America. Could be. I, I don't know if the Lord intends for us Americans to accommodate. Surely he shows us the way, and those who fail to follow his path are damned eternally. Well, you raised some interesting points, Mrs. Weaver. Well, I'd be glad you. to discuss them with you at another time. Oh. Perhaps some other time. Ah, Robert. Oh. Jane. Thank you, Pastor. Can you read how are you? Mr. Bean, good to see you. I'll tell you, Weaver. 
I don't feel comfortable in the church where we know the book better than the pastor. He just doesn't seem to get it, does he, Mama? No, he doesn't. Samuel, Sarah, you be careful. We're in enemy territory now. Look alive, look sharp. What do you see? What do you see? Enemy! Charge! Go, charge! I'm just training them for the real world. Well, you know, if you, te real world. if you teach them war, you're going to get war, Randy. What, do you, what is this? Baby. The kids are helping your dad. Let me fix that baby food for you. Oh, no, that's okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy Sarah a doll to play with instead of a gun. Darling, I'm going to fix dinner. You go inside and you rest. And when it's ready, I'm going to call you. No, I'm going to help. Okay. I'd rather do it myself. It makes me happy. Okay, sweetheart. You know, sometimes it feels like you're cutting us out of things. Even something as simple as making Rachel's baby food. It's like you don't trust me. It's like we're not good enough. Mother... I never meant it to seem like that. You know how much I love Dad and you. I know you do. But it's a dangerous world. And it's my duty to make sure that my family isn't corrupted and to see to things myself. Corrupted? Wait, Becky, wait a minute, come here. Honey, listen to me. We would never corrupt our grandchildren. Mama, I know we that. We love those children. And I love you. But, Vicki, it feels like you're drifting away from us. You're becoming more and more distant. More unyielding. More religious. Well, well, I'm religious in my own way. Mm -hmm. Isn't there any room for understanding? Isn't there any room for human frailties in your religion? Mother, all I'm trying to do is to make sure that my children don't get the wrong ideas in life. Okay, I'll buy that. The people are, uh... Well, take Gwen and Lauren. I love them, you know I do. But they do certain things that I would not want my children to do. You know, those are the ways the devil gets into your life. Honey, listen to you. Your sister and Lauren... They're not tools of the devil. They're human beings trying to find a path in life. So am I. Well, then everybody needs to try harder because we don't have that much time left and we all have to study the Bible because it can show us the right path. If you don't let go, you're going to find yourself without space in your own life for us, your family. Mom, that will never happen. Never. The Bible teaches us compassion. And I have that for all of you. <sighs> What's that thing with your mother? She you seemed kind of upset. Yeah, well, I guess she was. I just get so frustrated when nobody gets it. Nobody seems to get it, Weaver. <sighs> they don't see the truth. Well, that's the way of the world, Mama. Yeah, well, not our world. And it's not going to be our kids' world, either. We'll be justified. I'll tell you that. And prepare for thyself and all thy company, and be thou a guard unto them. Amen. 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 Read it again. All right. It's Ezekiel 38. Son of man. That's Christian Americans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Set thy face against Gog. The grand conspiracy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Be thou prepared, and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company. All thy company. Obviously our family. And this study group of believers. So, yeah. Yeah. And be thou a guard unto them. Amen. 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 I tell you, 
there's more to this idea of a Zionist, one-world conspiracy than I ever imagined. Amen. You see it every day in the accounting business. Now, you can't move but for what some Jew or government agent tells you it's against this government's law. Really? There aren't but a hundred Jews in Cedar Falls. Oh, but you can't go by appearances, Craig. Now, there's people walking around this town, people that look just like you and me. Some people even pass themselves off as Christians. But you scratch the surface? You know what I mean? Huh? I'm telling you. That's right. Oh, Elizabeth, Satan's seed is everywhere. May the good Lord confound him. Amen. Oh, Amen. Amen. The, the preacher over at Cedar Falls said Now, that... Elizabeth, there is a reason why we don't go to that church anymore. You know that. Just because a preacher says something doesn't mean it's the truth. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You can't trust anybody anymore. Amen. <clears throat> In the latter days, thou shalt come to a land that is brought back from the sword. Well, American West. Right. Amen. Right? Well, we want it back from the Indians by yeah. the sword. Many people will gather against the mountains. Rockies. Mm -hmm. Of Israel. United mm -hmm. States. Mm -hmm. That have always been waste. Montana or... Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> and they shall dwell safely in all of them. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's join him. Heavenly Father. And all thy company thou shalt gather to you, and thou shalt dwell safely in the mountains. Idaho? Well, where in Idaho? Son, you, you don't even know where you're going to live. Well, God showed us what our land's going to look like, and we just got to find it, and uh, we'll do the rest. The rest? You guys are going to go and build a house? Yeah. Sure, of course. No disrespect to you and Randy, sweetheart, but, I mean, building a house from scratch, that's, that's a big undertaking. I mean, you got to think about electricity, you got to think about, about septic tanks, and, and now, Randy, you got to have a, you got to have a safe water supply. You know, the children of Israel, they did it. Yeah. And everything we need to know is right there in the Bible. It's, it's just going to be great. Vicki, please don't do this. I mean, if you don't care about yourselves, then think about the children. Oh, That's the whole point why we're doing it. It's, it's because of the kids. Gwen, I, I know you love me, and I really appreciate your concern. But this is going to be incredible. You're going to have to come out and see us next summer. It's so beautiful out there. I mean, God has given this vision to Vicki, and we're following it, and it's what he wants us to do. And God says you go, you go. Be careful, be careful. Be careful. See you, Randy. Bye. Love you. Love you. Bye. Take care of our girl, Randy.
that thing off. Come on. That thing's an electronic sewer. What do you want to do? Run your brother's mind? Can't let him watch that stuff, Weaver. It's my fault. How's dinner coming? It's done. Come on, kids. Okay. You can see me. Right. You could have gone to a coffee shop or something. But we can't spend any money on restaurant food. We gotta save every penny to pay for God's land. We're gonna take a lot more from the way it looks. Well, you sound discouraged. Come on, we'll find it. How? We've been on the road for more than a week. It's gonna take a lot more money than we got to buy land out here. <sighs> okay. We will find it. Jesus said we just gotta be patient. We're gonna find it before the Feast of the Trumpets, just like you promised. Come on. Inside, honey. She sure is happy enough. Well, she's smart enough to recognize God's country. It looks like we've seen every piece of property we can afford. No, no, we will find our land by the Feast of Trumpets. The Feast of Trumpets? <laughs> Can't say I know that one. Oh, it's Leviticus 25, verse 9. And thou shalt cause the trumpet of the Jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month. And ye shall proclaim the liberty throughout all the land. <laughs> oh, wow, trained that in the Bible. That's great. <laughs> How nice. Come here, boy. <laughs> we try to live as God shows us. Well, you find a lot of religious folks up this way. Well, it looks like we came to the right place. Now, it's your job to find us some land. Oh, we're working on it. My wife, she has this vision, you see. Oh, we don't have to share that. Well, I think these folks might appreciate hearing this, Mama. See, it's a vision of a cabin on a high ridge. And we believe that Yahweh is leading us to that ridge. Yahweh is Hebrew for God. You, uh, Hebrew? <laughs> no. Hell no, we're not we Hebrew. Know. We study the Old Testament's teachings. Yeah. You know, what about that section above Ruby Creek? Ruby yeah. Creek, where yeah. is that? Well, it's not far from here. No, just a little further north. It's right here. We call the section Ruby Ridge. Okay, now, wait, wait, wait. Is this where we turn? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, there's a bridge, yeah. Right. Okay. All right, here we go. Hey. You see it, Mom? No, that's Meadow Creek. We gotta find Ruby Creek. This can't be right. There's no more road. I know. See, we're going right here. Can I help you? Oh, hey. Yeah, we're uh, we're looking for Ruby Ridge. Ruby Ridge. Oh. Never heard of it. Never heard of yeah. it. You mean Ruby Creek? Well, the realtors they said uh, Ruby Ridge. Yeah, they gave us a map here, and it looks like it should be. Could right be Ruby here, Creek. I, I don't know. Hmm. It's supposed to be. Well. Never heard it called that before, but I think it means the ridge up this logging road off to the right there. Where's that logging road? Uh, through the meadow here. Oh. I'm pretty sure that land's for sale. Are you thinking oh, yeah. of buying? I was thinking yeah. about it. You want some neighbors? <laughs> well, we got kids about the same age as yours. Oh, great. I'm Randy. Randy Weaver. Roy Marks. Yeah. Nice to meet you. This is Vicky. Hi. Hi. This is Sammy, Sarah, and this little Rachel. Well, uh, tell you what to do. You go through the go through the meadow and take the road. Right. It'll go up and snake around to the right till you come to this rock slide. Can't go any further. You park there, and there's a footpath to the right of the rock slide. It'll lead down up to the ridge. All right. Great. Well, great. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Bye.
the rock slide to me. He said there was a path. Yes, there is. I know. Mm -hmm. There's got to be. Fortification. This has got to be the safest place in the world. Just us and the kids. Big! Boom! <laughs> And thou shalt dwell safely in the mountains. Here, put your hands. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. My hands. <laughs> May the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine down on us and be gracious to us. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon us. And give us peace. And, and give, give us, us peace. peace. Yesterday, I had to learn the states out loud, so. Washington, California, Oregon, Wyoming, New Mexico, Nevada, oh, Texas, Oklahoma, New York, Idaho, Mississippi. Oh, my. That's goodness. really good, boy. <laughs> mm, he's yeah. smart, huh? He's so good. Who needs those public schools? Just drifting, and he's been a part of the family ever since. What have you been doing? Oh, picking apples over in Washington. It's been a while. Come on, let's put you to work. Vicky, <laughs> let the boy catch his breath first. No way. We raised a slave driver. I, I thought we came here for a vacation. Come on, come on, let's get back to work. Dead, yeah. these girls, shoot us. Come on down here. Shoot us. Sammy, I want you to help me with that insulation. You won't get that roll ready here. Is this the menstrual shed she's always talking about? Yeah, this is it. 
I thought you said this was a little guest house. Well, yeah, it is, but it's uh, going to be used mainly for a minstrel shed. What do, you, what do you mean, a minstrel shed? You know, a place where women can go when they, they, uh, they're unclean, you know, when they're having their period. Unclean? I can imagine what Gwen and Lauren will say about that. Well, they'd probably just say we're living in the dark ages, and they could tell them to read Deuteronomy, you know, the usual. <laughs> Dad, what's a period? Uh, well, a period is, uh, well, that's a, that's a mark that God has put on women. Men don't have to worry about it too much, as long as we stay away from those moods it brings, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I made it all by myself. Mom didn't even help. That's so good. Beautiful. Sarah. Grandpa, watch this. Striker, sit. Sit. That's great. You think you can get Grandma to do that? Oh. Striker, lay down. <laughs> oh, don't teach Grandma to do that. <laughs> oh, you. Grandma, do you really have to go back tomorrow? Yes, we do. But tomorrow's picture day. We're going to take <laughs> lots of pictures. Um, <laughs> uh, Mom, <laughs> now you know the Bible says that we're all made in God's image. And in Exodus, what does it say? That we're not to make a graven image of him. Remember Aaron and the golden calf? Yes, but if I take the pictures, then you're not making a graven image, are you? Well, maybe that's true. All right, we'll see. Good one, Grandma. <laughs> oh, look at this. Ow! Why, there's enough for an army in here. Isn't it? Look at that. Green beans. I got squash. Good all from my garden. I tell you, we could feed the whole family with this. You, Justin, Gwen, Lauren, everybody. Well, hon, that's not necessary. Your sister and brother do not believe that the world is going to come to an end in three years. Yeah, well, they, they're going to be signs. They might change their mind. Yeah, well. Well, I got to hand it to you, Randy. You did it. When you left Iowa, I, I never thought you'd be able to pull it off. This is a great place to bring up those kids. We're going to build us a real house up here, Ralph. You'll see. down to Hayden Lake next week, you know, for the Congress. Oh, I was wondering if maybe you guys wanted to come along. A little vacation, oh, yeah. picnic. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds good. Hey, I want you to meet my parents, Tony, Ralph and Irma. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ma'am, I'll uh, uh, see you soon, yeah. sweetheart. Uh, sweetheart. What, what in the world was all that about? Oh, what, Dad? The, the guns, the, the running, the... The drill. Dad, we gotta protect ourselves around here. Against what, baby? Against who? Everybody. <laughs> Come on. You want some after fire? Tony, you want something to eat? Yeah, yeah, always. Let's uh, get this boy some food. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, so they killed a Jew. A radio talk show host spreading garbage over God's clean airwaves. 
he deserved? What we need is Bruder Schwagen to rise again. The silent order. Yeah, to the Bruder Schwagen and the order. <laughs> Dad, what's Bruder Schwagen? Group of men are trying to overthrow Zog, son. Until Zog killed the, the leader. Bob Matthews burned him to death. What's Zog, Dad? The Zion occupied government. Hey. Jews run this government. Yeah, and the media and everything else. Back in New Jersey, we got niggers that have killed three, four, five people. Who the hell knows? They walk after a couple of months. Our guys get put away for life. Now, you're telling me that's fair? Hell no. Mud people. They're you know, trying to intermix and taint white purity. Yeah, the devil's work you mean. Uh, Mama, this is Gus Magasono. He's in from New Jersey. Hey, would you like to join us for some food with us? That's real kind, Ms. Weaver. I'd appreciate that. Right. Can I help at all? You can help Sarah and me carry the water. Hey, you know what? I think that's a real good idea. Come on. <laughs> Tony, you want to eat some? Oh, yeah. How would you want to eat? Well, he seems like a nice enough fella. Of course, you don't know who's a government infiltrator and who isn't, do you? Sure you do. Uh, the ones who always want you to break the law. <laughs> Stand up here, you bowling!